let's take a look at how we can work with a live, uh, you know, brand new mind map, you know, in, in a webinar and how that could work. Uh, I'm going to call this one No Blogger Left Behind Q&A because I think I'm going to go to a webinar format for my Q&A sessions instead of just working with a teleconference. I think that could be a lot richer. And let's say we have, uh, you know, somebody who wants to have a discussion about niches, has a question about that. Uh, we may have a discussion and I may say, okay, well, let's get a little bit more relevant. You know, what are the niches you want to actually talk about um, so that we can, uh, you know, have a discussion that is going to really, really work for you. And, uh, you know, chances are we will have somebody in the crowd, especially in one of my crowds, that's going to want to talk about HUD homes. Uh, you know, you may have somebody else who wants to talk about REOs, you know, more, more in more general terms. Uh, you may have somebody who wants to talk about first-time home buyers and somebody else maybe about investor properties. And then, if, you know, depending upon where the discussion is going to be going, the, uh, you know, the, the subtopics could, um, you know, could go out. We, you know, may want to be talking about developing categories or topics around REOs. If that's what we're talking about, we may want to be talking about financing. Uh, we may be, you know, we may be wanting to talk about uh, inspections. Uh, we may want to talk about, uh, about reselling, you know, flipping. Uh, and, and again, we can do that in any one of those topics. Uh, then uh, we may want to, you know, move to another topic and somebody in the group may want to talk about, uh, you know, WordPress plugins. And uh, we may want to, uh, you know, have a discussion there. We may have, you know, somebody else who wants to talk about, uh, about traffic, uh, web traffic, um, you know, it, web traffic, you know, how we can accomplish certain things with SEO perhaps, how we can use social media for traffic. Uh, we might want to, you know, to talk about uh, something like that. So this becomes a really, really neat uh, vehicle, uh, a mind map becomes a neat vehicle to do that. Um, at the end of the, of the webinar, uh, you know, I can print off the, um, print off, you know, into a PDF file. I can print the entire mind map and attach that to a replay of the webinar. Uh, it also gives me an option, depending upon how our discussion goes, uh, you know, if we have, have it structured right, where I can, let's say I've got, I've got a 60-minute webinar and we cover, you know, three things in great length, well, maybe I can break that down into 20-minute webinars uh, with the mind maps and, uh, and then have discussions that become more like FAQ videos and a little bit easier to follow. Um, so I think that, uh, that the mind map support is a great, great way to, uh, to do a webinar, whether you're, you know, creating the, web, the, the mind map in advance or creating it on the fly, it's a great way to be interactive. Um, people can be interactive, they can give you information, they can ask you questions, they can help you fill in the blanks here um, in the chat, they can do that uh, all sorts of ways, um, and that's, uh, that could be a lot of fun. Uh, I think that's a great way to do that. Uh, it also, if you, you know, if you have a very, very small group, and, and it works okay, and there's not a lot of background noise, then, you know, you can invite people to share from their, from their phones, you know, on their headsets or with their microphones. That's something that you want to play with in very, very small groups because that can become a little bit unwieldy. So, you know, don't try to do that. If you have more than 10 or 20 people, trust me, then it gets a little bit crazy.